Amen. Amen. Praise God, Pastor Celine Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, yeah. a church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, you can join us. You can stream in. You can join us by whatever, you know, yeah. coming or listening to us or watching us. Amen. Praise yeah. God. But we invite you to come and join our, our home and uh, where we honor God, love family, serve others and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family. All our visitors and all those that are joining us by audio and video, yes. you are special. Merry Christmas to you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Feliz Navidad. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. We're going to be talking about being Christmas. We're going to be talking about the greatest gift ever given. Amen. Amen. And I just shared with the church a few minutes ago, it's those around the tree that make it special. It's not the presence itself amen and it's jesus the reason for the season mm -hmm. it's not about the presence you know mm -hmm. and sometimes we get so uh wrapped up in in, yes. in the wrong things you know yes, yes. we we want to buy and we don't have with to buy and we get so concerned and and all these cares just all these anxieties and worries just get on you you know because you can't yeah. give what you want to give right it doesn't matter about the gift you know because they may not like it that's okay. But Jesus is the greatest gift yes. ever given, and we need to receive Him. You know, yes. the Bible says, and we're gonna read the story in a few minutes. But there was no room in the inn for for them. Is there room in your heart for Jesus? It's time that we make room for Him and invite Him to come and be our Lord and Savior and receive Him. You know, <laughs> bless you. Salvation is a gift. Salvation is free, and all we need to do is receive it. Do you receive them on a daily basis? Amen. So you know what? Before we get going, let's make this declaration together. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, on a daily basis, you can change and not be the same. I am changing. I don't care about somebody else you know i mean yeah i care for the salvation but i am concerned about me because i don't want to be the same one yet from yesterday i want to yeah. change and grow and yeah. grow and grow you know you climb the ladder up and you're going up but you got to take a step to go to the next run you know and up and up and that's what we need to do on the daily basis hey man catch a healing brother <laughs> praise god so praise god the greatest gift ever given and you know god god is not finished with you Amen. He, he's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you, and none of them include their feet. Amen. So all you got to do is make yourself available. Amen. He wants to use you. See yourself the way he sees you. He sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. Amen. How do you see yourself? You know, if you don't see yourself this way, then it's time for you to uh, receive him as your Lord and Savior and start uh living for him and start going for him and doing for him you know and and just be be available for him to use you Amen. and that's most of the time we 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 uh he don't use us because we're not available and he's knocking and we're not opening uh -huh. and we're not giving in but we gotta surrender ourselves commit ourselves and press on with him because Amen. he put you here for a reason and he put you on a mission and he's given you everything to fulfill this mission Amen. So that's the great gift. You know, he's given us Jesus. And now we start serving Jesus. Amen. Christianity is all about relationship. Yes, and it's it about relationship with your Savior. Amen. Jesus Christ. Woo. Yeah. Amen. Praise I ain't God. already preaching up. You can say amen. <laughs> and we can go home. <laughs> Praise <Amen>. God. <laughs> amen. I'm going to read you a little bit from last week. But it says, stay merry, stay joyful. Mm -hmm. Christmas season. Amen. It's about the birth of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Jesus is the reason for the season. It's not, not about the presents. It's not about the Christmas tree, the decorations. Uh -huh. <laughs> or you getting in debt, you know, to try to please somebody else. That's it. That's, That's it. not it. Okay, you know what? Hey, thank you, Mom, just for being there and being Mom for me. Thank you, Dad, for being there and being Dad for me. Yes. For teaching me, leading me, and yes. guiding me. Amen. Yes. So, praise God. Let's remember Let's remember this. Amen. That's the greatest gift. 
Listen, I said this. Christians should be the most joyful, Hello. merry persons in the world. We're, listen, we're too blessed. We're too blessed to be stressed. That's it. Amen. Let's remember this. We're too blessed to be stressed. Why do you want to be stre stressful? Why do you want to be concerned? Why do you want to be worried? Yeah. There's no need for that. That's it. it says, too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed to be uh, sad. Too blessed to be worried. That's it. Too bad. Too blessed to be uh, disappointed. Uh -huh. Disappointed uh -huh. in what? Yeah. People, you know, people are going to let you down. Yeah. Jesus will never let you down. That's it. Amen. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He'll stay with you. You know, once you receive him, he'll be with you. He says, I won't leave you and I won't forsake you. Mm -hmm. I'm always with you. Amen. But people will. You know, people will, but not God. Amen. Write these down. If you don't have these down and highlight it and circle and personalize, I, I don't know. Philippians 4 6 says this in King James Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let yes. your requests be made known to God. Be careful for nothing. Don't take the care. Don't take the stress. 1 Peter 5 7 says this in King James Casting all care mm -hmm. upon him because he cares for you. Amen. Who else could do this for you? Hmm? No one else. No one. God says Giving us the greatest gift. We're going to have a few little beauty, beauty things up there with slides. But uh, he sacrificed his only son. Yes, he did. What can I give to get my people back? He sacrificed his son. <laughs> and his son agreed and he came and he fulfilled his mission by giving himself and surrendering himself to the Father. Giving himself back to the Father. Before he gave himself to the Father, says, Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. Forgive them. Amen. Yes. So, we're forgiven, but you got to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Celebrating the what? The, the birth, birth of Christ. Christ. Amen. That's what we're celebrating. We're not celebrating well, well, what presents did I get. Amen. But praise God. You know, if, if you keep your priorities in order and celebrate him, you can still have your presence mm -hmm. and enjoy both. Amen. Praise yes. God. Keep going, Kirk. Amen. Christmas. Christmas begins with what? Christ. Uh, so let's keep Christ in Christmas. Amen. Let me see. I wrote it this way. Um, it's not about happy holidays. You know, I, I, I go around and I visit places and a lot of people, they, they, they don't want to commit themselves. They just say, well, happy holidays. Mm -hmm. Things have changed now. You know, we don't have to say Merry Christmas mm -hmm. because it's got Christ in yeah. Christmas. Yeah. I'm not going to compromise. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and don't uh, compromise by, you know, I'm just going to stay politically correct, you know. I'm going to keep with the crowd. No, mm -hmm. you don't have to. And it's not Xmas. Xmas <laughs> Xmas was not sacrificed for you. Christ yeah. was. All right. Amen. And he paid the price in full. Amen. He paid the price. He says he paid a price we cannot pay. You know, I owe a debt. I cannot yeah. pay. Amen. So, Praise God. Amen. Amen. It's about Christ. Christmas. Keep Christ in Christmas. And don't be ashamed to say it. You know, they're not ashamed to speak in front of you and say negative things and bad things. So why are you ashamed to speak about Christ in front of them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You said it this way. I don't I can I hear it, but I don't have to receive what they say. That's it. I just wash it off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Give yourself a spiritual bath all the time and keep them batteries, uh, spiritual batteries up and up and charged yeah. up. Amen. But I don't have to receive. I hear it and you're in the world and you hear these things, but you don't have to receive it. That's it. You know, the only time when you receive it is when you start doing. Yes. Amen. It's when you start doing it. The battlefield is the mind. You got to keep your mind renewed all the time. Otherwise, yeah. you fall into those things. And I'm going to say those things just to please my little crowd. I'm not going to do that. I used to, not anymore. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Woo, man, keep yeah. going. <laughs> this is good. Jesus is the reason for the season. It gives you Matthew 1, 21 and 23. Mm -hmm. The Gospels talk about this, you know. Keep going, Carter. He is the reason. You know what? <laughs> Parents train our children the way they should go. Yes. And teach them the right way. Mm -hmm. And teach them about Jesus. Amen? And the right mm -hmm. thing about how Jesus was born and why Jesus came and what his mission was, you know. Yes. Not about, you know, just Xmas, you know, and about presents, you know. Uh -huh. No, teach them. Bible says teach them the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart from it. 
they'll know. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad, for showing them and being uh, moms and dads to teach your children. God gave what? The greatest gift of all. He gave Jesus, you know. We we compare, we compete, you know. What did you get? Who gave you what? You know, man, I gave whatever. It doesn't it doesn't matter. You know, all these gifts can go to waste, go by the wayside, mm -hmm. but Jesus will never go by the wayside. Yeah. Amen. You will always have Jesus with you. Wherever you go. Amen. Whether you, whether you whether you receive him and whether you're acknowledging him mm -hmm. and and submitting yourself to him or not, still he is with you. Yes. Until you wake up and say, wait a minute, what am I doing? Prodigal son, prodigal daughter. You yeah. were running away from him. It's time to come back home and start giving yourself, committing yourself to him. Amen. Woo, man, I'm preaching to myself because you guys don't need it, right? <laughs> Jesus is the greatest gift of all. Let's remember that and keep that and know this. Amen. Keep going. These are all good. Yeah. You know these things, but still... It's, it's good for us to know. Amen? Yeah. yeah. The greatest gift, and it's John uh, uh, 3.16. Keep going. It's, it's it there. <laughs> it's there. There it is right here. Okay, this is our text. For God so loved the world that yeah. he gave That's his it. one and only son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have yeah. everlasting life. Yeah. Amen? It says, his one and only son. Uh -huh. So he wouldn't, he didn't have all of these he said one and i'm all sacrificing and i want to get my people back it's time we come back home and you say yeah those of you listening those of you who are watching you know it's time to come home mm -hmm. amen why not why not today yeah. why put it off because yeah. tomorrow's not guaranteed next yeah. year's yeah. not guaranteed you can go at any time mm -hmm. so let's not do that today make it your day Amen. Yes. Hey, what a great thing, you know, celebrating the birth of Jesus, you know, yes. on December 25th. Oh, on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. Day. Amen. Woo, Christmas. Praise God. Keep going. Here we go. We talked about this already. But keep Christ and keep uh, Christ in Christmas. <coughs> Woo, praise God. So, praise God. Be believers. Don't be ashamed to say Christmas anymore. Try to catch up on this. Attitudes of celebrating Christmas is this. <laughs> give, give, and give. Amen. And not uh, just receive, getting, and, and taking. <laughs> Let's not just get into just taking and taking and taking. Let's learn to give. And, yeah. you know, we have this list in the back. And I, and I encourage you to go and get it for yourself. But let me uh, remind you once again what the list says. If I can find it here. Listen to this. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I said the feed is so long today I can't even pull you up. The feed. Yeah. Okay. The, the Facebook feed. Okay. Uh, every day, listen. Live to give. I'm living to give. That's what Christ did. He lived to give. And that's what we need to do. Our greatest example. If you, if you want a hero, if you want an example to follow, Jesus says, Jesus, our greatest example. As a matter of fact, let's go, well, let me read it to you. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. And I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified, so you read it from your translation. Uh, Ephesians, are you there? I'm still getting there. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 1 and 2 says therefore be imitators yeah therefore be imitators you know if you let your child yourself maybe you was brought up this way but you watch TV you watch things you see things you read things and you imitate them mm -hmm. amen you imitate them you try to be like them you know a movie star uh, uh, an athlete you know whatever you try to be like them but the Bible says here in uh, uh, in uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 says, Therefore be imitators of God, copy him, yeah. and follow his example. Mm -hmm. As well beloved children imitate their fathers, and walk in love, esteeming and enlightening one another, yeah. as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a slain offering and sacrifice of God for you, so that 
it became a sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. You know, be a good example, fathers, mothers. Yes. Be a good example to your children. If you want them to grow up to be right, teach them the way they should go. Mm -hmm. Amen. But still, you teach them to be imitators of God and to copy Him as a father. Says, as a father, as a beloved child, imitate their fathers. You know, if you're not doing right and your children are watching and then they start doing what you have shown them and then you get mad at them and spank them, you know, yeah. for not for doing it like that. But dad, I, I saw you, but mom, I saw you. And now you're whipping them now and you're punishing them for something they learned from you. So let's be good examples. But God wants us to be uh, imitators of Him. If you're not being imitating Him and copying Him, you know, then you, you, you're not going to do it right until you start doing this. Be the way He wants us to be. Amen? Get your Bible, open it, read it, Highlight it, personalize it. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you if you can't do that in your Bible, then throw it away. Get another one where you yes. can, you know, read, uh, do all these things to it. You know, highlight it, no, underline yeah. it, all That's these good. things. Amen. It's okay. It's your Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody get a hold of your Bible, look at it, and say, "Man, I don't want this thing." Mm -hmm. Stuff all over and highlight it, writing all over the place, okay. and words everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You can do that. They don't want it anyway, okay? So we're celebrating Christmas and know to give, 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 and not just take, 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 or hey, I'm receiving. You know, everybody likes to receive. God has given us the greatest gift. Mm -hmm. And Jesus has given us salvation. Yes. And you know what? It's free. Yes. But how many people have accepted their free gift of salvation? Yes. Not too many. Not too many. More people. And listen, we are the church. We are his body and we go into the world and we need to bring the good news to them. Amen. So that they can receive Christ also. Amen. But I was going to read to you this. as live to give. Every day. I wrote it this way. Mm -hmm. Every day is Christmas. Yes. Every day is Christmas. So live to give. When we think about well, Christmas, when you hear Christmas, what do you think? Gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Present. So every day is Christmas. So uh -huh. give. What do you have to give? Uh -huh. Christ. Yeah. You give Christ. Amen. Amen. Believers have more to give than finan finances. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And I'm, I've got this list. You need to get this list. And this is not all that needs to go on this list. There's more things to put on this list. It says, For God gave His only Son. Jesus gave His life. He gave salvation. Believers, what can we give? We can we can give our best. You know, we give our best times to our jobs. <laughs> we give our best times to our friends. We give our best times to everything. And when it comes to spending time with relationship with the Father, we just give him a few seconds and say, well, you know, I'll pray in the morning. No, no, it's too late now. I got to get to work. And we'll pray in the morning, at night before we go to bed. Well, bedtime comes, you know, you fall asleep before you even finish your prayer. Come on. Give him your best. John 3, 16, we just read it. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that we have believed in him. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Luke 6, 38 says, give and it will be given to you. You know, a lot of times you cannot outgive God. You give. Man, every time I give something, I get three or four or five back. I don't understand because that's the way God said it in motion. You give and it would be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together. You know, when you're fixing you some something good, you know, coffee or cocoa or something and you're fixing it good, you know, and man, you want to press it down. So make sure I get all of it, you know, we say it's going to be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom for with the same measure that you use it will be measured back to you amen, amen. so don't be stingy yeah god was not stingy when he gave jesus that's right that's his, that's that's the best he had and he gave his best yes. and he gave jesus we can 
not outgive God. Let's remember this. I'm just going to read a, a few of these, and you, you, you all know these, but you can give. We're not talking about finances, mm -hmm. and some people are hung up, you know, because that's all I go. I go to church, and all they talk about is finances. <laughs> but we can give Jesus. How do I give Jesus? Well, you go into the world on a daily basis, uh -huh. and you're a witness. And people are watching you. And I'm a child of God. And I'm not pretending. I don't come to church or this building where we assemble ourselves and just pretending to be a Christian. So when I go into the world, after I spend time with the Father, I go into the world. Wherever your job is, wherever your store is, wherever you happen to go. Yeah. Friend, friends. Yeah. And be a light yeah. to a dark world. Be uh, uh, bringing the good news to a sad world. Uh -huh. Amen. That's me. I'm a I'm a beacon. I'm a shining light. Yeah. And keep your light shining. People are gonna notice. Yeah. And that's where you what do I, what can I give? You give Jesus. Remember, salvation is free. Yeah. Jesus is free. Yeah. And they'll receive Jesus. You know, I see things about you. I want. What is it? Jesus. Yeah. That's what you see. Give yourself, commit yourself, be available. Uh -huh. You know, once in a while, hey, I'm only available on Sundays, Jesus. That's the only that's, you got me on Sundays and that's it. But he don't want stepchildren, okay? He wants you every day. <laughs> every day, not just on Sundays. <laughs> Give your time, your study time, your reading time, your meditating on the Word of God. Give yourself. Give time. Give him time. This is relationship, spending time with him. First of all, getting our priorities, you know, this Christmas, getting our priorities in order. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, Amen. his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Amen. Amen. Give of your heart, give your love and compassion of Christ. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. What can I give? The love and compassion of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, when you start get, getting in the word and you start imitating him and copying him, that love and, and that love. And, and, and compassion of Christ is going to come through you. When you see people, you're going to see them with his love and his compassion. And you're not just going to see the bad in them, uh -huh. the wrong things about them, right. and say the wrong things. Right. You're going to see what Jesus saw, and you're going to see why. Amen. You're going to see why he came and, and gave his life. Because he forgot. Remember, he says, For God so loved the world. Yes. That means all people, not yes. just your favorites. Sometimes yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's those unlikable. No. Sometimes it's those hateful ones. Amen. That. Yeah, I had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't have people that are ungodly or unlovable. But I do. <laughs> but I still have to be I still have to be Christ like in front of them. Yeah. Amen. And, and say thank you. And please. Mm. You know, and be kind, say a kind word. You know, yeah. everywhere I go. God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate what you do. You know, some people just come back and say, you know, you're the first one ever told me that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We need to be kind, you know, because you, know, you put yourself, you put yourself in their shoes. Yeah. Amen. And nobody, and you feel like everybody's just walking in and, and, and demanding from you and walking on you. But you know, if that's the attitude, you got to change it. Have a Christ-like attitude. Yes. Amen. Ooh, man, I don't know who needed that. But, uh, I receive it for myself. Mm -hmm. Give up of your emotions. Give a thank you. Give a smile. Give a cheerful attitude. Give appreciation. Give encouragement. Give honor. Give happiness. Mm -hmm. Give a prayer. You know, you need somebody who needs prayer? Oh, you know, hey, I'll pray for you when I'm in my car. I'll pray for you, you know, when nobody's watching me. Let's pray right here. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's going to cuss you out. They'll cuss you out right there. Yeah. They'll say, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to go in my car, in my truck, and then I'm going to cuss you from over there. No, <laughs> if they're going to say something negative and cuss you, they'll say it right there. That's it. That's true. But you know, when they need when they need prayer, they need it down. Mm -hmm. And you can lay hands on them. Say, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm -hmm. You lay hands on them, you know, and say, hey, let me pray for you. Yeah. You don't know who's around, you know. You close your eyes and pray for them, and you open your eyes, and there's 20 people around you. Why? They needed it too. Yeah. They're not saying no. Mm -hmm. But don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Amen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give a prayer and 
live to give. You need to write that down somewhere mm -hmm. and and read it every day. Yes. Where you can see it every day before you go out. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise yes. God. I lost my spot. <laughs> You're on there. Yes. They should be celebrating, giving, rejoicing, and happiness. Yes. Amen. Mary, remember we talked about this, Mary. Mary means happy. Mary means joyful. Mary means cheerful, joyful, laughing, alegre, mm -hmm. feliz, navidad, mm -hmm. <laughs> in good spirits. Mm -hmm. We got to be in good spirits all the time, <laughs> in the right spirits mm -hmm. all the time. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it's a spiritual battle every day. Yes. And if you try to fight it in the flesh, mm -hmm. you lose. Yeah. But if you yeah. have the word of God in you and you're confessing the word of God, you're taking authority over that yes. spirit world. Amen? Because yes. we don't fight flesh and blood. That's it. We see flesh and blood all the, all, every day. But it's not flesh and blood we're fighting. It's a spirit a spirit battle. Mm -hmm. A spiritual battle. Yes. And we need the word of God to overcome that. To, to, to take charge. To take control. Yes. To take uh, uh, authority. Yes. Amen? Jesus already defeated him. He's, he's a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. We just got to remind him. Just you know what? Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Yes. And he's going to have to flee. Mm -hmm. You're not invited in here. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Be high spirited in the right spirits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. In him. Not in yes. other high spirits. What he sells spirits at the booze star, you know. <laughs> Instead of unhappy, sadness, depressed, miserable, gloomy, and common uh, during these uh, Christmas times, we should be happy. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. I will, will. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yeah. It says, I will. Some scripture, some uh, translation says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Other says, let us rejoice yeah. and be glad in it. Yeah. But other says, I, or you can personalize that and put your name in front of it. Make it mine. This is the word of God. Yeah. And he wants me to have it. So I'm going to make it Jose will rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. Amen. So you talk to yourself the word of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <praise laughs> Thank you, Lord. I believe that uh, much of Christmas unhappiness and sadness and depression has come from lack of knowing your God. Mm -hmm. Lack of knowing your Savior. <coughs> For God sent the Savior into the world that yeah. we could have uh, salvation. Yes. But we don't know our Savior. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you're going to be lost. Yes. Amen. You're going to be lost. Uh, let's go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. So if you can see this and you can highlight it, I can't say that enough. Book of Romans. Yeah. Chapter 10. Why did Jesus come? <laughs> how, do I, how, do, how do I receive Jesus? I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, 9, and 10. Are you there? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay. Let me see what your Bible says. <laughs> mine says, mine says, if thou, mm -hmm. that means you. okay, that means you. Okay, you can scratch that thou mm -hmm. and put Jose. If Jose says, if Jose shall confess with his mouth, mm -hmm. not with mothers, not with fathers, mm -hmm. not with friends or, or yeah. pastors, it says, if Jose shall confess with his mouth, mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in his heart mm -hmm. that God has raised him from the dead, says, Jose shall be saved, saved. Mm -hmm. so when you confess him as your lord and savior now you know i'm saved mm -hmm. on my way to heaven so if i'm on my way to heaven lord what is it you want me to do mm -hmm. i'm available use me mm -hmm. and he's going to use you amen yeah. so praise god it's good to be used amen yes. and 10 says what for with the heart man believeth unto uh, uh, righteousness and with the mm -hmm. mouth confession is made unto salvation mm -hmm. so Man, high like that and know where to go. When yes. you need to lead somebody and then yeah. learn it. Yeah. You know, get it in you. Yeah. And when you go to lead somebody, it says, man, if you confess with your mouth mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, you know, God raised him from the dead, you show you're saved. Yeah. Some people don't know this. That's yeah. why they're lost. Yeah. And they lost because they don't know their God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they're sad because they don't know him. Yeah. Amen. So and what well look. Let's, uh, let's go to 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Yeah. 
2 Corinthians 5.17. What do I do once I get saved? <laughs> and uh, if you don't know this, <laughs> yep. we're, we, we've been watching some movies. We watch some Hallmark movies. That's what we watch. I saw in there where people come back as angels. <laughs> I, just want, I just want you to know <laughs> you will never come back as, as an angel. <laughs> We're higher than angels, okay? So God made angels for their job. Yeah. <laughs> he made us for our job yes, and is. serving, yes. okay? So you'll never come back as an angel. Yes, so yes. just get that out of your mind. Mm -hmm. And you can find it in the Word of God, okay? So you're more precious to God than an angel, okay? Angels do their thing. We do our thing. But you're not, you, you won't be back as an angel. You won't be back as an animal. You won't be back as anything else. And, oh, God didn't create them kind of things. I mean, he created animals, but he didn't create you to come back as anything else. That's it. That's it. Okay, 2 Corinthians 5 17. Uh, but, you know, when you have time, just read it all the way through verse 21. But it says this. Uh, Therefore, if any man, you see where it says man, you put your name there. If any man, if Jose, okay? <laughs> I'm using Jose. If any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. A new yeah. creature. Okay? This is called salvation. Yeah. Amen. You're a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. Salvation has come. Basically, it's also called uh, born again. Yeah. Amen. You've been you had a spiritual birth. Yeah. Spiritual birth. Yeah. You can't physically be born again. <laughs> so you had a spiritual birth. You accepted Christ. Mm -hmm. People see you, and all people see is flesh. <coughs> so they see you. You see the same, but inside me, mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ. New creature. Amen. I had a spiritual birth. Amen. I'm a new creature in Christ. So don't go back to the old stuff. Yep, don't go yep. back to seeing yourself the or same old way. You're a new creature in Christ now. Christ. This is what the word of God says. I'm reading from the, from the word of God. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. Old things are what? Past. Away. Past. Gone. Mm -hmm. Don't try to get him back. Mm -hmm. Let it go. <laughs> Behold, all things have become new. I'm a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. Guess what? People, family, friends, still see the same you. Yeah. And they're going to try to refer you as the old you. Yeah. Oh. But I'm a new person in Christ. So I'm going to let them know I'm now an imitator of Christ. Yeah. I'm an example. I'm going to follow his example. Uh -huh. So I'm not hanging out with skunks and I mean uh, friends anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to hang out with them anymore because God's going to bring new people around you. He's going to bring new people around you. Don't worry about it. He's going to take care of it. He's going to bring new people around you. Yes, he will. Okay? So you don't have to hang out with the old crowd anymore. As a matter of fact, you are going to be an example and you have a great testimony now yes. that God can use to bring so many old ones into the new. Yes. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Praise God. Where am I at? Oh, all has passed away. All things have become new. You have to receive it for yourself. So when people try to talk down to you and people try to bring your past, you'll say, you're talking to the wrong person. That's it. That's in the past. Yeah. That's, that's gone. You know, Christ has forgiven me. He's dropped the charges. I'm no longer in the past. And don't let the past hold you prisoner. Let it go. It's gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know when this year is over, when this when the every day is over, let it go. When this year, the 2000, uh, 2022 is yes. past, let it go. Now, let it go. 2023 is here, so let's press on with that. <laughs> and uh, 18 says, And all things are of God, and he hath uh, reconciled us to himself uh -huh. by Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of of reconciliation. Ain't that yeah. something? Well, God don't want me to do anything. He never says anything. <laughs> Have you been spending time in the Word? He says, He says, He said, and hath given 
unto us. You yeah. scratch that us and you put your name there. Yeah. I'm personalizing. And you've given unto Jose the ministry of reconciliation. Yes. Reconciliation is bringing people back to him. Amen. That means we have to break, go out, speak, be his ambassadors. Mm -hmm. It tells you there in the, in the next few verses. It says In verse uh, 20 says, And now that we are ambassadors of Christ, as though God had, did beseech you uh, by us, we pray you all uh, in Christ uh, stead be ye reconciled to God. So we, now we're his ambassadors. Listen, where do you happen to go? Mm -hmm. We're his mouthpiece. You know what mouth is do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. We speak. We speak. We have to speak words. So speak the right words. Amen. Amen. Remember, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Or you can say, death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So now I'm changing the way I speak. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to start saying and confessing the right things. Don't mm -hmm. put yourself down anymore. Amen. Lift yourself up. Yes. And see yourself the way he sees you. That's it. Amen. So I'm not going to come against myself anymore. That's right. Amen. Man, I'm the greatest thing God ever made. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm building myself yes, up. Yes, yes. Amen. God loves me. Yes, he does. And see yourself. Man, I'm beautiful. Man, I'm handsome. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens mm -hmm. me. All these things, you know, you can do for yourself. But yes. you, y'all, all I'm doing is confessing the word of God back to yes. you. Amen. Yeah. And, and, and it'll work. It'll work. Yes, it will. So let's let's remember this. <laughs> and here's another thing: on a daily basis, people don't see themselves right, and they're sad and doom and gloom and all this because they got their priorities out of order. Amen. Mm -hmm. They've got their priorities out of order. What's your priority? Job, 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 career. You know, people. Mm. You know, friends. Mm. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, there's no Jesus in there. Yeah. When do you spend time with him? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if I have time, I will. Mm -hmm. But I don't make time for him. Yeah. Well, you're defeated already. Yeah. We need to get our priorities. You know, every job you go to, believe me, you have priorities. Mm -hmm. And you got to get your priorities in order. Yes. To do all these job responsibilities have priorities. Yeah. But you get your priorities in order. And first of all, is Jesus first. Yes. Matthew 6, <laughs> up and seeking first the kingdom mm -hmm. of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. And I've said Amen. this many times before. Mm -hmm. You got to get yourself off the throne. Yeah. And put Jesus back all on right. the throne. Mm -hmm. Seek him first. Yeah. Amen. Him first. Not yourself and not friends or whatever is your God. Get him out of there. Celebrate the gift, the birth of Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. He is our blessed or if that's yeah. the right word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he blesses us. Yes. So let's not get wrapped up in the blessings. That's it. I mean, let's not get get, get wrapped up in the in the stuff. Let's let's <laughs> let's enjoy the blessings he's given us. Uh -huh. But it's because he's our blesser. And yeah. when we keep him and it, when we keep him on the throne and we, we keep him first our priority our first priority he's going to continue to bless you yeah why are you always getting blessed man always bad things always happening to me i have just bad luck you know i have this dark cloud always following me <laughs> and things that happen bad things always happening to me well listen to what you're confessing yeah you're confessing and magnifying your problem more than you're magnifying that's your it. god that's it. put god first Mm -hmm. And you know, them bad things will go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Uh, amen. Yeah. Christmas time, listen, Christmas time and daily living is not meant to be sad or depressed. Okay? Remember, this is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. I, let us, we, will, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. It didn't say anything about if you're a multimillionaire. Yeah. It didn't say if it's nice and shining outside mm -hmm. or if it's gloomy doom or 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 if it's if it's raining or snowing mm -hmm. it says this is the day yeah. that means every day is the day the lord has made i am going to rejoice and be glad yes. in it. and i wrote it this way <laughs> christmas time and every day should be a time of rejoicing and gladness 
Yeah. But you have to make this choice for yourself. Amen. This is up to you. You start to remember this. This is this is your choice. Nobody can choose it for you. If you're not living this way, it's because you gotta make the right choices and you gotta start serving him and getting yeah. your priorities right. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Let me see what else we got, Carmen, before we close here. At Christmas, Jesus wants us to give the best. And yeah. of course, we already talked about the gift of salvation. Amen. You can give the gift of salvation to yes. somebody else. Remember, Amen. you can do all things through all Christ. Things. I can't. I can't. We got to stop saying that. I can't, you know, because we say that a lot. I can't do that. We, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who so strengthens us. Mm -hmm. Keep going. The greatest gift was wrapped in a shiny silver pa uh, paper. Was, wasn't wrapped in a shiny silver uh, paper, but in a swaddling, swaddling clothes. Amen. That's what the Bible says. We just read yeah. that. Yeah. Keep going. Of course, we already had that. Yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. It says, we will, I will, let us, I, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You make the choice. It doesn't matter what somebody else says. It doesn't matter what the weatherman says. Yeah. It doesn't ma matter what the newsman <laughs> says. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Keep on. What we got a few years is the greatest gift ever given, listen, was not placed under a tree. That's it. It says that it was placed on a it was placed on the tree. And his name is Jesus. He wasn't just placed on a on a on a tree. He was nailed to a tree. Amen. He was nailed to a tree. Keep going. Hallelujah. And I read you this early this morning, but it says it's not what's under the tree that matters, it's who is around it. Mm -hmm. you are special you are special amen so remember that praise god okay we can stop right there amen praise god did you receive yeah <laughs> i received too so you know what hey merry christmas merry christmas those of you that are watching those of you that are listening if you never 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 accepted christ mm -hmm. on christmas day yeah jesus birthday why not just say why not I'm tired of running. I'm tired of being uh, out down and out. You know, I'm tired of being homeless. I'm tired of whatever, you know. I'm tired of me being the boss. Well, it's time for you to come to Christ. You know, all you have to do is say, hey, I've, I've sinned against you, Lord. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. That's right. You've been putting it off long enough. So now it's time for you to come home. Praise God. And he'll receive you. And you start living for him. Amen. Amen. Start copying him. Amen. And being his imitator. Praise God. <clears throat> if, if you are uh, sick, Bible says lay hand on the, on the sick and they shall recover. I'm gonna, nobody around, just put your hand on yourself and say, thank you, Father, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. No malfunctions in this body. Everything functions the way you created it to function. So I received no uh, malfunctions in this body in Jesus' name. Everything functioning right according to the way God created me. Amen. So praise God. I receive that. So say, body, receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> so praise God. And it's time to uh, give. So you look at the screen up there and uh, you go to our website, NBCBigBand.com. Hit that donate button. If you mailed it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now you can do a cash app at New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Merry Christmas. We love you.